Good morning guys, welcome to another vlogmas day. As you can see, I've already been up and I've been for a run. David has taken another day off work, um, so he's taken the kids to school and I've taken the opportunity to go for an early run so we can get busy and get some jobs done. The trouble with devoting a bit of time to exercises, but by the time I've taken the kids to school, done the exercise, had a shower, had some food, it's lunchtime and I'm really short on time then. So using this opportunity while David taking the kids to school has been fantastic. So I'm now done my run, quick 5k. Yeah, it was all right, it wasn't bad. I really need to start pushing myself a little bit further. I think what I need to do is book myself onto a run, maybe into a half marathon, and then push myself further and keep cracking those distances. Because I do enjoy it once I've pushed myself that bit further. So quick 5k now. I'm now gonna do some weight training. So if those of you don't know, follow me on Instagram. I quit the gym about a month and a half ago to carry on just training at home, doing some running, getting back to what I love. I still do some weights at home, makeshift bench and all that, so I might show you in a minute. Um, then I'm gonna get showered, have some breakfast, and then it's top secret mission time. It's time to wrap those presents while the kids are out. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna go and do those weights and then get cracking. So I'll see you in a minute. So this is it, little bench, some weights, apologies for how dark it is but it is really dark outside so I'm going to do a few weights while watching a little bit of Vlogmas, uh, see Sean vlog. Hi guys, all showered, fresh faced, looking beautiful, um, so yeah we are going to be wrapping some Christmas presents, a lot of it's top secret, a lot of it's down here. Father Christmas is bringing, so we won't be showing you that. Bit of an advisory, if any of our friends and family are watching this, mainly Crazy Grandad, switch it off, you don't want to be seeing this, otherwise you'll ruin your surprise. So we're just going to be wrapping a few presents. Has anybody out there got any tips or tricks for wrapping presents? Do you just use gift bags and not wrap? What are your thoughts on recycling these days? Do you think we shouldn't wrap presents at all? Should we wrap them in newspaper or do you still love wrapping presents? Go in the whole hog with bows and things. We used to go the whole hog, or I used to. Bows, ribbons, everything. Tags, you name it, I did the lot. I have now got limited time, so we are not wrapping everything. We are gonna be wrapping um, my niece's present, her birthday present actually, because um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of an idea I had, and I think it is really, works really well, especially the recycling aspects of it. I've got a glamorous assistant over here. My big tip for wrapping pe presents is get David to do it, because he's brilliant. I can't even wrap a box very well without it looking dodgy. So David is gonna be doing all the wrapping, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll start off with my niece. So please, if you are watching, which I don't think they do, turn away. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So we got my niece some clothes for her birthday. It's her birthday a few days before Christmas. My idea was to save a bit of a planet and to help recycling and also as a, as a special gift is to wrap these in tissue paper, which I've already got already. I really hope it's recyclable. And then I bought this really, really cute gift bag. Oh, it's not a gift bag, a shopping bag from the pound store. It was only a pound. The same price as one of those paper foil gift bags and yeah it can be reused recycled it's saving the environment so i absolutely really love that um and yeah so that's what we're going to be doing get wrapping hop to it so we've already got loads of paper pre-cut not paper we've already got loads of um i can't even think of the word sellotape pre-cut i think the best thing to do is probably get a tape dispenser but we have to pre-cut everything it's already on our, on our step over here oh. mm. 
this was all just like that. Mm-hmm. In the shop that way. Oh. It's supposed to be in the shop. It's like you were meant to be moving it to watch closer up. In. big thing of mine and don't forget to use gift receipts. Gift receipts are really important. I need to try and find all the receipts in all these bags. You don't have to include this but And just by magic, my by magic assistant. And there we go. I think that's a really cute idea for presents. And the range I've got at the minute in Poundland is a really cute Winnie the Pooh range. So yeah, so that one's done. All ready for my niece for her birthday. Now let's get on to wrapping some presents. This is for my secret Santa. I know she doesn't watch, so. At least I hope she doesn't. Stretching to get the scissors. Am I a good assistant? A little. I don't be wasting any of the paper. Have you cut it wrong? Seriously, you've cut it wrong. Try the other way. No, try folding it that way. Other way! That way! Did that? You didn't! Did. It's a square box! So how many times you turn it? This way! So, okay, this is how not to wrap presents. When you're wrapping presents, make sure you um, measure it out correctly so you don't leave yourself short. Is it? I watch these edges, girls. That's what you call a folded. So I'll cut these corners in a minute. Oh, the pressure's on. Can you feel it? Oh, look at these edges. Perfect. And it's measured out correctly. I'm measuring it then. And that's how you measure a box. Sorry, that's how you wrap a box, not measure a box. We got there eventually, didn't we? Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave you there for the wrapping and uh, that's all you can see because I've got all these presents down here to wrap. So, top secret. So, we'll catch you in a bit when it's all done. A little bit of stress going on here right now. We had to take a, make a massive dash to the shop and get some more wrapping paper. Completely underestimated how much wrapping paper we needed. 
I normally buy from Costco, I should have done it this year, they do the massive massive rolls of wrapping paper, they are what you need when you've got kids with big presents. So yeah, we had to take a quick dash out to the shops and go and get some more wrapping paper and now we're on a really really tight time schedule to get it all sorted before the kids come home. Hi guys, mission complete. Yeah, everything's all sorted and all, um, yeah, we've all sorted everything out and got plenty of time now. We're just off to go and pick up the kids, just a typical day, working day for us around here. Um, drop the kids off, get cram some jobs in and then go pick them back up. Um, today we've got lots of school activity, after school activities, sorry, Harry's got gymnastics, Emily's a member of the St John's Ambulance so we need to go and pick up pick her up and drop her off from there yeah so that's about it really for us this is why I'm going to sign off the vlog today but before I go quickly I just wanted to show you this another idea for a gift bag I picked this up from Tesco's sorry if you can not see it it's awesome it cost me £1.50 and a great idea for a gift bag um, instead of the plastic paper ones um, that are cost about £1.50 for a small one and then £2 upwards crazy crazy prices Everybody use those recyclable bags. Much better for the environment and much cheaper. Plus it makes an extra gift, so why not? So I'm gonna sign off this vlog for today. It's a really super quick one from us. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm really enjoying making this vlog series. It's really challenging us about um, what we're doing um, and challenging me for vlogging. I am not used to vlogging at all. I'm getting a little bit more confident with it, so I'm actually enjoying this vlog series. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to click like. I love li reading all your comments down below, so drop us a comment um, if you've enjoyed this video. Any useful tips for wrapping? Anything that you think I could do better? Um, I'd really love to hear from you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Catch you later. Bye! Merry Vlogmas! <laughs>